for the 19-year-old. Pies first pick in 2020. Ten games in his debut year, straight through the middle. Pies by a couple of goals. Here we go. Drama here at the MCG. We're going to get a second shot at goal here, Duck. It's one of those rare situations. <laughs> Game number 247 for Jack Siebel. We've seen a fair bit on the footy field. He'll be frustrated with the fortunes of his side this evening. And a stroke of three quarter time. And can't convert, and he's got a bit more to go on with it, too. Players from both teams come in. Oh, it's on. It is. A few finds handed out as they get into the push and shove. The young brothers are at each other, though. They've said this to don't argue, the ability to link up. A little bit going on between Taryn Thomas and Caleb Sorrell. Oh, hang on. Close enough, and he didn't have to. Griffin Lowe's going to kick his second goal ever in AFL 40, and he's going to tell everyone about it. You saw this. Oh, it's on. It's on. There's, a, uh, there's a huge blow off the ball. Uh, it happened as David Mundy kicked that ball in. There'll be four fines and lots going on. Sounds like there's a free kick to the Dockers. Luke Ryan wasn't happy with Harris Sanders. Certainly started was done there. What's the other path? Well, things have got a little ragged here, and very quickly they have escalated. Fremantle have kicked two goals, and now a scrap afterwards. And then there, no one's in their 6 6 6. Yeah. six. <laughs> Gotta get back there, 6 6 6, tongue twist out. But this is good to see. We saw Brisbane's aggression in the first quarter. And, uh, but I've loved it. We asked for it 10 minutes ago for Fremantle's players to stand up, their leaders to stand up. And now, level pegging again on the scoreboard. Three quarter time in round one. Richmond led by 15 points. The Blues came rattling home. It's 14. At the final change. As Cripps and Prestia come together, they come in from all sides. Plenty of feeling. Plenty on the line. Two great old rivals. And they're not done yet. Lynch on top of Plowman. Umpire powerless. Pickett and Doherty. Silvani wants a piece of Pickett. Jack Rewalt trying to be the calm head. Now Kerber says, get it lost. Off to your huddle. Loads a barrel gets on it pretty well, but it drifts right. Big fly, yeah. nearly forced to spice her. A couple of big moments oh. leading into three quarter time. Derm, so close oh. that one. That was oh, Cam, you almost got yourself a car there, son. Z was involved, don't run in, but they're running in. Don't worry about that. Let it go, let it go. When they say don't run in, what can they do to stop you? Much. 
So players coming from everywhere now. It's almost developing into a melee. You have a bit of a laugh. No one really gets hurt in these. I don't know why you bother. Just wasting energy. Blake Harwich at the bottom of it. As always. Zerhar's annoyed because he could have taken hanger of the year. We're going to take a break here. And, uh, against Sean Darcy, so you're right with Shuey. He went down off the ball. Hayden Young wasn't happy with some of the attention. He was getting. Certainly been a, an intent from West Coast to oh, yeah. really try and set the tone with the physicality. Andy Brayshaw and Jackson Nelson are still going out. It's going to blow up here in a minute. Spot fires everywhere, and it's the former Frio Docker. And Hugh Dixon with a chance at the goal. He loved it off the boots. Oh, he's over here. Over here. Oh, this is getting big. Uh, and it is right on. Oh. You saw it coming, Pav, and they're all racing in to join into the scuffle. No love lost. West Coast, the underdogs have come Boogie. with a fighting mentality. Go. And it is right on here. Here we go. Well, they can't go the 666 rule if they try and bounce Let's it go. because Let's both go. teams, who do they award it to? The umpires are trying to control this so they can restart the game, but they can't on the 666 rule. Starting positions, boys. Jermaine. The umpires trying to regain control. Let's go, guys. Uh, both teams still wrestling with each other. There's a fair up, bit happening please. off the ball as that shot got went through. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Andy Brayshaw was getting harassed by Jackson Nelson. He was coming off, and then he didn't like it, so he went back at him, and then it just exploded. Caleb Sarong yes. came in, Four flying one. the flag. And then yeah. he and Jack yeah. Redden had right. a series. Freeman will absorb it and go again. Nice close pinch it back. And O'Neill just threw it across to Redden, but it's out of play. And you, you mentioned that the talk is, could they back it up two weeks in a row? I look at it in the way that... Yeah, it that's going to be a freak. Yeah. Sarong and Redden. Sarong not happy. It's a jumper punch. 150 penalty. Not 50, not 100. 150 metre penalty three three. against Caleb Sorrell. So that's in the goal square. So it's in the Swan River. Put it in the Swan River. <laughs> so it's from the wing to the goal square. It, yeah. The yeah, fans. that pressure, just to, to back over there as he's running in. It's the formula. The fan. He switches it up and chest mark dropped by Whitfield. Tried to link up with Ash again. Bombers get numbers around the footy, but here's a chance for the Giants in the opening seconds. And Cornelio, the captain today, with a team lifter early on. Oh, what a great finish from one of the captains. And that's about speed. Oh. Another free oh, kick that. off the ball. There's definitely a lot of feeling, as you can see. Both teams knowing exactly what the other team's going to do and the way they're going to start this game. I love that Perriman moment a few moments ago as that ball went inside Ford 50. Went back with the flight of it. Just got a fingertip in to keep the ball live. Then we... Belted away by Finlayson. Taken by Berry. Off to Answorth. Off a step. 55 out. Deep kick to a dangerous spot. Through the hands of Rayner it goes. Still alive for Brisbane. Mead's got to be cool in his first game. And Dersma met heavily. Free kick. And afters. It's been scrappy in every sense, and now we have a scrap at the Gabba. Yeah, take the ball. Yeah, yeah you take it, though, mate. Wines is going Go to take, take the free kick. The umpire just wants him to kick it Mitch. to get this frack no, 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 to finish. No. Okay. You could have bet your house on Mitch Robinson. You lock him up for a week. He was always going to come out and just Are let right, loose mate? with a bit of, get okay. a bit of steam off. Yeah, it's a tricky one, that one, in real time. Yeah. He, he protects himself, so he, go, he goes in sideways, Mitch. Mitch and I'm you I mean, you, you're allowed to do that. You've also got to look yeah. after yourself. Leading with your head like that's probably not ideal when you're in that situation either. Plants to the middle, nothing there. So he'll go for Norton. Just got a little bit under the footy there. Now Sicily to tidy it up. Gee, it was an aggressive tackle from Norton. Allowed West to go through. Kick into Shackey. Out the back door. Running goal here for McComb. Sicily not happy. Well, it goes on, this little Barney. And Sicily does love a scrap. And just shakes the head. Norton's come out with the jumper. And there goes the headband. 
Gee, I wonder whether it'll react like Bruce Jill used to. He's actually ripped the headband off Aaron Norton. And it's on again here now. Goodness gracious me, scenes here. Aaron Norton, Bruce Dool style, had his headband removed. Not to please. There's been little Barney's, bit of a rip jumper, and that'll sell for plenty. <laughs> Big gun on there was Sicily once he ripped the headband off. And then Bonce looked after his forward. Bonce charged at Sicily, and Sicily's flipped him over onto his back. Handball. McRae, Hugo Hagen, Norton breaks loose. Long ball, West gonna mark. He does. And a scuffle behind, and guess who? I think the Bont was hit late. Uh, Sicily tried to bump Bont, and Bont put Sicily on his backside. <laughs> I think Sicily found out how big Bont was. He's ripped a few jumpers tonight. James Sicily, that is for sure. Cost a few bucks. And Sicily, perhaps out of his weight division, but Riley West has been a great story tonight. And Riley West nails yet another one. He's got a third, I think, tonight for Riley West. Three goals, three. Done very well, and Libba giving Sicily a bit of an earful. There's no one in the square. Can he go for home? Leaps it over the top. Dunstan, injured angle. Wingard gets it oh. back again. And his cross on the way through. Well Wouldn't give this away. Don't turn it around. Thank you, sir. Oh, he takes oh, off. Umpire oh, lets him go. Oh, Goal. Oh, he gave a bit of get on the way in as well, did Big Chad. He <laughs> gave a bit of a well arm salute. The trouble was, Jack free did free it when the game was now. iced. <laughs> You've got to be smart here, Dwayne. Oh, this is this is magnificent stuff from both teams, to be honest. Like, that, was it um, how that... Yeah, it was. It was a great contest. Yeah. Release the footy wide. Oliver, 32 possessions. The last time these sides met him. Oh, they come right. straight after him. They're looking for the duck, JV. There's his duck dinner right the ball, there. The they have got in and they've given him There's chopped duck. duck. So there's the answer. Did Collingwood talk about it during the week? I'd say so. My oath they did. That ball to keep it going. Horn Francis showed his physicality and his acumen. Wow. Zerha. And the pants pulled down there. I mean, we've seen players get longer. Oh, yeah. A, a chance oh. to dispose of the ball. Long. For me, there's been a couple of occasions tonight if the tackle's not sticking yet, the player is in control, you've got to let that go. Some really good skill execution. Adam, Adam, hands out. I mean, he's a hard man to match up on. I think Bond has done a good job for yep. the majority of the night, being undersized, the ball's coming in well, quite he can't quickly. can't stop that. He couldn't possibly. The kick no. was too perfect. Jack just reminding Jason Hall Francis that, hey, mate, you're in your seventh game. I don't think Horn Francis kicks. Middle. Runs the ball in the air. So it's okay. Yeah. Where you were, Nathan, at yeah. 50. Right here, Dave. Metering can okay. sense the chance for something Nathan. here. Then he looked up and saw there was almost no teammates ahead. No. Right. So that's another 50. 50 metres. Yeah. Oh, it's just falling apart here for the Kangaroos. They've lost the plot. Come with They've lost their jumper there. and the plot. Swans fans starting to get vocal. I'm not sure where the direction is heading, whether it's player, umpire, or just frustration. Doherty and Kennedy's he done a hamstring here. I reckon there's a double banger here. Doherty may have a concussion issue, and Kennedy appears to have done his right hamstring. Interesting. Passage of players, Bell tries to drag Young off and Sam, are you okay to take your kick? You very okay intriguing kick? passage. Wheatering and Bell go at it. Young's there and he is not in a good way here as Kennedy. What an unusual 
sequence of plays. You can see the collision. Now, Doherty will be concerned, and the doctors will be for concussion there. And Kennedy overstretching there, possibly the right hamstring. OK. Across the ground. Oh, it's Keith. Siren. Now then, after all of that damage, the Cats still have... An 11 point lead and Liver gets involved again. They go to Stanley and then Zach Tui comes in and says, You can come through me. Oh, Zach's trying oh, to go the headbutt in there, I think. And another little headbutt there from Bailey Smith. I'm not sure whether it made contact hey, or not. He's reported. Please but please there was a couple reported. either way. Now, Bailey Smith has been reported here. You for okay? And I think. I did see it happen, but I think I saw one before that as well. Wow, we a little split on the forward as well, but here it is. See the initial. Oh boy, goodness gracious me! Double whack there, and both having a go at each other. Thumped it down. Houston attacked it. Burton tries to mop it up. Did he throw that away? Led. He dropped for the high, Drew didn't fall for it. Chip kick Schomburg, he got pushed after, that'll be downfield. They're coming back right. to where the push was. OK. At the time, well, there's a little And it's on. Yep. Fish. It's showdown 51, all right. And they come from everywhere. Open goals. He's had a shot at goal, no one's home. And he's wasted it. Now, that would have been interesting. Had he kicked the ball, it landed in the square and bounced through. And Ken Hinkley's watching six of his defenders <laughs> getting in a blue pack. <laughs> this is what started it. Trent McKenzie on Gallant. That's the matchup. Uh, an errant arm from Gallant. Trent McKenzie. His ball over the top to Dacos. Oh. Ran a long way late from Gardner. Goal coming up for the Pirates. Okay. I've reported him. I've reported him. I've reported him for rough conduct, Josh. It's a bad error sometimes. 50 metres again. I've reported him. I've reported him for rough conduct. Sometimes you just got to no, know you're going to be there too late, aren't you? How his team reversal, needs one now. Oh, no. It's kick. a reversal. A Melbourne free kick. And Todd won't even get to take his shot. Been a free kick paid down there from Elvis, so it's just a reversal. Just pulled him to ground, but that's not a goal. <laughs> a dirty half. Hey, just, just got dirtier. Here's a look. Butters and Bowie. There's the free kick as we head down to Soda. By right, Stephen May. Middle, and he's back flying into all sorts of trouble, and that's holding the ball. Dangerous tackle. That's for 52. Wow. Stop. Stop. Is that dangerous Stop. tackle? Yeah. Just, let's have a look. He gives up here for him. Up, yeah. he, he knows he's gone. <laughs> Simo uh, should be wearing that um, face mask. He wants to put it up over his eyes, I reckon, when he puts it on. So it's still on. It's a big distraction because the footy continues. The crowd, I think, more engaged in the scrap than anything else. Kelly and Kennedy. Little one off the ground, Himmelberg. Noble attack the footy. Down nice and low and drew the three beautifully. Ginevan falling down a little early, and I'm getting the feeling 
a few of them challenging Ginevan at the moment. And this will ensure that the Giants can't get home. The 50 metre penalty will mean a 45 metre kick at goal. Again, happy to go through the middle, Collingwood. Cox brings it to ground. Finlayson picks it up to Boak. His hand pass was stopped at Maynard. Got him a bit high. And there's been a bit bubbling in this game. Ginneman gets himself in there, as does Elliot. Burgoyne tries to grab to go out of the way. That's not an easy thing to do. I think you'll find Tay Adams at the bottom of that as well. We've got a 52. Yeah, so the non-controlling umpire came in there and... Geordie. Paid the 50. So it'll be Boke again, ends up with a footy. So that's interesting. After the play, there was a push and shove. Well, what is it? And they've pulled well, out another free kick. So this is going to be a double goal opportunity. And that might have been it there against Crouch, who... Might argue he was pushed into that, but Charlie Cameron is going to get a gift directly in front. So what about a momentum shift in the game this is? I feel like the Saints have dominated this first term, and if.